Hello, everyone, and welcome to our SAP Tech Ed sessions, enabling circular business models with SAP BDP and the generative AI. My name is Jai Wang. I'm the regional lead of the SAP Co Innovation Lab North America regions. Hi, everybody, and welcome. My name is Nathan Williams. I'm the director of technology and innovation at Avale. Hello, everyone. I'm Sebastiano Marchesini, senior SAP developer consultant and SAP champion at Avale. Uh, in this tech ad session, I will talk about how our SAP partner benefits from the SAP Hack to Build programs. So Hack to Build is a concept to turn ideas from the prototyping to products much faster than before. You start with your business idea, join a hackathon and build a prototype within one to two weeks, which you then build into a real product and commercialize it, or in close collaboration with the experts from SAP product units and the go-to-back experts. This is what we call hack to build because it's all about turning your ideas into commercial offerings. In a concept like hack to build, you start with a very intensive week of creativity, learning, and the collaborations with SAP. But afterwards, you can largely run by yourself with only lightweight support. Most importantly, time to market is much shorter. The outcome of hack to build can be varied. It can be a customer solution a package of software bundled with services or a scalable full-fledged product. Most of our hack to build use cases are finally published in the SAP store, QBPS, and the VPAP programs. Please explore our hack to build event page. You may find more opportunities such as in SAP AI, Gen AI, SAP Build, Analytics Cloud, and the data spheres, etc. Here you can find some hack to build showcases from the winner teams. SAP co-presented with TCS hack to build winners in the SAP Tech Ed conference in 2022 to talk about how they extend the SAP success vector solutions without codings. Capgemini's automotive parts recycling visibility use case is also live in the VPAP program. Hack to build first run-up, Riscom published track well in the SAP store. This also will be a showcase in the SAP Tech Ad 2023. Hack to build the first run-up TEK published auto incentives and the finance planning application in the SAP store this year. You may open the link to explore more details. In February 2023, a hack song event seen unbuilt and, and extends process using SAP Build on the SAP BTP platform took place in North America region. Using local local apps to build the prototypes powered by the SAP Build Apps development environment, our SAP partner had the opportunity to show great applications built in only a few days, making the innovative solution tangible. This event received more than 20 use cases submitted by the SAP partner teams. After carefully reviewing the use case, we approved the 13 use cases which were finally presented in the demo jam. Avadi created the winning solution called Reclaim. Reclaim is a circular e-commerce solution that provides company in innovative digital models that leverage SAP Build, SAP AI, Gen AI, and S4 HANA to address linear economy challenges. In the next slide, you will hear more details about this hack to build winner use case from Nathan and Sebastiano. So thanks so much for that introduction, Jai. And as someone who has competed in multiple hack to builds in the last few years with Sebastiano and others from Avale, I'd highly encourage you, um, if you're a partner, to to consider participating. Uh, regardless of the outcome, winner or runner up, I, I truly believe that you'll find the experience to be challenging, rewarding, and, and energizing. And from a, a customer or an ecosystem perspective, I can't recommend enough to check out the links that Jai shared to learn all about the innovative and exciting use cases that emerged from the hack to builds over the last couple of years. So today we'll be discussing Avali's approach to enabling circular business models um, using SAP BTB combined with S4 and generative AI, specifically as it relates to Reclaim, the hack to build solution that we recently won with. So we've already introduced ourselves, but once again, I'm Nathan. I'll be joined today by my colleague, Sebastiano, to present our solution on Reclaim. 
So I want to first start by talking about the business value proposition, because this is really, as Jai mentioned, the start of the hack to build process. And this is something that we are able to do with BTP is even with our customers, uh, in addition to hack to build use cases, is we start with a business problem or a, or a challenge or an opportunity. And then we can take that use case or that business challenge or opportunity and then solution it using one of BTP's many services. And this is the this is the power of, of BTP. We can solve business problems. So I want to talk about that problem that we, we, we are solving with Reclaim, and then we'll talk about how that our solution addresses that problem. So this is a picture of in the background here of the uh, Atacama Desert in, in Chile uh, just, a, just a few months ago. So this once majestical landscape has been transformed by about 60 tons of, of clothes that now form mountains on top of what would otherwise be a very uh, beautiful desert landscape. And this image in particular was shared at the UN Climate Change Conference, and it delivered a very simple but alarming and, and jarring message about the clothing industry. Uh, the simple message was that we're making more and we're wearing less. So the, the current method in which clothing is produced and sold is just not sustainable because it's, it's linear. Consumers and industries, they're producing too much and don't know what to do with these clothings once, clothing pieces once they've reached end of life. And that is really a product of what I mentioned as the linear economy, and we'll define what that means, and uh, a product of, of fast consumption. So these linear business models have been designed around this take, make, and, and waste approach because Historically, that was the most effective way for companies to, to prosper. Um, but today, circularity and sustainability, it's, just not, it's not just a boardroom topic anymore. It is, it is required for companies to, to now remain competitive and profitable. Yet, there's a lot of uncertainty around how we tackle this important problem. So I've got a powerful question on the slide here, and it's a complicated question, but it's, and I'll read it out. How can companies increase their prosperity while reducing their dependence on, on materials and energy? And really significant growth typically requires or is, or is required in the past an influx of, of material and energy as opposed to a reduction in them. And history has proven to us that the expansion, expansion and growth often comes at those elements that protect and sustain the environment. So our goal today is, is to give you a, a glimpse into how BTP can help companies become more sustainable and more circular, um, but it doesn't have to come at the cost of profitability or completely redesigning an entire business model. In fact, um, we believe at Avali that sustainability uh, efforts and sustainability practices is a direct result and is highly integrated with profitability. And so we're using the fashion industry today as the basis for our use claim. Um, that is one example. We built Reclaim with the idea that we can scale this platform, scale this app to be circular for, yes, the fashion industry, but other industries as well consumer products, goods, manufacturing, food, so on and so forth. So here you have on the left this linear approach. Raw materials are extracted, manufactured, they're used, and then they're typically discarded in a landfill. Again, we're talking about clothing today because that's very relatable. We've all had that shirt or pair of pants or, or dress that has reached the end of life, whether it's, it's, it's old, it's out of style, we've had it for a long time. And what do we typically do with that? Yes, sometimes it's a donation, but oftentimes at the very end of that product's life, it ends up in a landfill. So with Reclaim, what we have done is, and I'll kind of walk you through around this circular uh, diagram here, is once that product reach, reaches end of life, let's take a t-shirt for example, the consumer or the uh, the user of that product can simply take a picture of that product on their on their mo mobile device. We have got SAP AI services that 
can classify and de determine that specific article of clothing. Is it a shirt? Is it a blouse? Is it a hat? Is there blemishes in it? Are there holes in it? Um, is it a counterfeit product? Uh, for example, if, if we're taking a picture and we're of, of uh, Levi's, it will return that it is an authentic pair of Levi's jeans. Once that article has been analyzed by AI, the application then tells the consumer the value of the clothing in reward points. So on the back end, we've, we'll be able to partner with different organizations to explore new business models. And I'll talk about loyalty points uh, in, a, in a little while. So for example, in the case of a clothing company, if they use this app, they can essentially uh, assign different amounts of points to different clothing that they would like to have back in their stock. So once those points are identified, the consumer can trade in the, the clothing and they're directed towards the nearest drop-off point. It could be the clothing outlet themselves. It could be a UPS store. But we've got Google Maps integrated with Reclaim to look for the nearest drop-off specific to the organization that we're deploying this app for. Uh, we've got some automation by way of uh, SAP Build Process Automation that will inform the warehouse of the incoming clo clo clothing items and have a write directly back to SAP S4 to, uh, to, to have some dashboards and notifications in. With the business strategy and analytics team reviews the real-time insights into all of those activities. And at the end of the day, the consumer redeems loyalty points towards a new, could be second-hand purchase. Therefore, instead of putting the, the clothing into the landfill or throwing away, it is recirculated back into the economy. That is one very simple and straightforward example of how a linear business model can quickly become circular by enabling some of these technologies. So just to kind of sum that up, the value proposition is secondhand products. Again, we're talking about clothing as the example, but talk about, think about car products, even talk about maybe food or other different consumer goods. This can become a new business model. We shared an example of, of something that is the secondhand market, but there's rental opportunities. There's the opportunity to put these on a digital twin. There's repair opportunities. And companies with this type of application, they're able to have a lot more insights into what the demand is, what customers are turning um, back in, what the, what the trends are, um, targeted sales and incentives to reduce inventory. So in fact, this is more of a proactive way to um, target inventory and manufacturing in a way that is um, is, is limited as opposed to producing too much and having this go into uh, landfills or discarded. And then also enhancing brand loyalty. There's been a lot of studies that show that um, younger generations are going to align more with companies that embrace and are implementing sustainable models that um, uh, align with their uh, with with their needs and um, what they want with sustainability. So. There's a lot of value around, around this application. And I've got a quote from Gardner here. It says, applying the circular economy could unlock trillions of dollars in the global economy, create hundreds of thousands of jobs, and leads to millions of tons of avoid uh, uh, emissions. So we at Avale believe that this, the circular economy will be going mainstream. It, it, it already is, it is moving that way. So we feel like apps such as Reclaim and these business use cases are going to be incredibly valuable and important, uh, especially when powered by important technologies such as generative AI and business technology platform. So we want to go into a little bit of the technical explanation. I've spent a lot of time talking about the use case, about circularity, about the important challenge. Um, but how we're solving this is with SAP Build Solutions and and so much more. So here are all the, the components that we used in our hack to build solution and what Reclaim is, is, is composed of. As you can see, the application is centered around SAP Build, but we wanted to push the boundaries and bring more value and tap into some other exciting services and components that, again, to provide much more valuable and make this app not only usable for one industry, but scalable to, to multiple industries and, and, and companies. So in summer, we built a mo mobile app using zero lines of code with SAP build apps 
This is for that end user or consumer to interact with, scan the clothes with, confirm their loyalty points, find the nearest drop-off location. And we integrated several components with uh, SAP build apps. The first being um, a, a chatbot. We used conversational AI so the users can get very quick answers to, to common and important questions. Um, as I mentioned, we use SAP build process automation. So we developed a workflow that when the user decides to trade in their clothes, notifications and uh, approvals are routed to, for example, corporate or even store management. We also integrated Google Maps so that users can be presented with the nearest store location to them, as well as get in-app directions. And then finally, the exciting piece is uh, SAP artificial intelligence, right? So we used um, AI, AI Core and AI Cockpit to, as I mentioned, have the, the clothes be classified in a way that um, the the store and the user can understand the benefits of turning those those in. So we've got some stuff outside of SAP um, as well. The bet that's integrated with S4 HANA again for inventory levels, and also we can extend that for for sales orders and and purchase orders. Uh, we've also got the AWS uh, S3, so we use Amazon Object Store to store all of our data sets for the models that were used for training and testing. And then also we've got a direct um, integration with uh, with ChatGPT as well. So in the dashboard that Sebastiano will, will share, the user is able to interact with generative AI to understand trends on clothing based both on market conditions, but also integrated with our S4 system to determine how we can bridge the gap and understand opportunities for what is going on in the market with clothing, with trends are, and then reconcile that against to the data and inventory in our SAP S4 HANA system. So that being said, I'm going to hand it over to my colleague, Sebastiano, who's going to walk you through a live demo of this exciting application. As you can see, seems like a regular closing hub. We build by SAP uh, builds up, okay? We have full our categories. Also, we integrate this SAP conversational AI. We know SAP doesn't not uh, support anymore, but we also know we will present the SAP generational AI where we are. We will have a chat about that again, and we want to ask two simple questions like uh, how many clothes uh, we can take in one pictures. The chatbot answer us we can take one piece for each picture. And also the um, integration the, with the Google API show us uh, where is the drop-off location near us. Okay. With all that information, we can have the direction to the location near us. And we are ready to trade in our clothes. With the camera functionality and uh, we integration with the SAP Core AI, a machine learning algorithm behind match uh, the type of the clothes, the category, with the 95% of accuracy. Here we have a shirt, and also I have a cap I'm not using anymore. In real, I still use it, I'll only a demo. And uh, with the the total items and the total points we have, uh, the Google uh, API show us uh, again that we choose the store near us where we want to trade in our clothes. With the trading button, we can see the result of the number of points and also the total points uh, we will get when we trade in. And here we are, faster than we throw away our clothes. Let's move now to SAP World Zone Advanced Edition. Here, uh, our KPI show us the data from SAP S4 HANA Cloud. We have the last uh, seven days, okay, the past seven days. The sustainability scorecard with uh, all different categories. The trading location and uh, as Nita mentioned before, the highlights powered by ChatGPT, where more user-friendly information uh, will show to the user with the uh, get from the our KPI and get from our data in S4, SAP S4. We also integrate when we press the trading button, uh, the SAP process automation, okay? 
the administrator of the shop can see uh, where the instance of the trading and then can approve or reject by see the shopping location and also the number of clothes in the instance. Thanks so much, Sebastiano, for that live demo of the application. Um, just a couple quick takeaways. And again, it's summarizing some of the points um, that we mentioned earlier for um, the importance and, and the value of, of, of this app. Um, number one, uh, definitely around sustainability. We've, we've learned um, a lot recently um, with generative AI and AI in general that it can accelerate very swiftly the way to have a more sustainable future, um, generating value, not just across the, the fashion industry and the clothing industry that we described today, but multiple other industries as well. Um, another key piece is the customer loyalty aspect. Consumers are expecting that the brands that they closely align with are going to have sustainability efforts and sustainability built into their business models. This is a whole new different uh, generation, generational aspect that we need to take into advantage. And there's a lot of studies uh, take into consideration, excuse me. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of studies that have shown that um, this is going to be a very important aspect to um, new business models. Um, and finally, the, the most important, one of the most important aspects is, is, is the concept of new business models, right? Digitizing products um, is going to impose circular business models. Um, we talked about um, reuse today, but there's so many no more models that we can expand upon from rentals to repair to tracking products usage, usage on a digital twin. So these are three reasons why BTP, GenI, and the circular economy can present a ton of opportunity for your business. And one more slide just to close out, um, as Jai mentioned in the beginning of the presentation, um, the result of, uh, of the hackathon or really that, that carrot at the end of the stick, that gold pot at the end of the rainbow is the ability to um, have SAP partner with Avale to take this application to market, to be available as a QPPS, as a VPUC. So this is really at a very high level, our go-to market strategy. Um, the market segment that we see for this app, whether it's fashion or otherwise, is mid-market, lower large enterprise, as well as large enterprise. The industry focus, we've already talked about the industries that this can um, benefit. The target customers are mainly closely uh, are closely aligned with how Avale is positioned throughout the United States. We envision taking this live um, in North America first and having more of a dominant footprint in North America, followed by our uh, our, our customers and prospects in both Europe and Latin America. Um, you can see our mode of reach to target and customer. We'll be working with SAP. We'll be working with Jai's team to help drive a marketing campaign, a sales campaign. We'll be working with our SAP account executive uh, counterparts to target not only new new customers, but our ex existing customers, leveraging other aspects at SAP like the COE. Um, from a timing perspective, we are planning to have this in the SAP store in early Q4. That is a conservative effort. We hope to have that um, even even earlier. Um, that will be with t-shirt size pricing for both the mobile app as well as the the dashboards that uh, that Sebastiano shared, as well as the integration with, with S4, integration with Gen AI. And then also we'll be, as I mentioned, partnering with with sales to to, to target key accounts, um, accounts that would benefit highly from this. So thank you again to Jai. Thank you to the Co-Innovation Lab for for your support. And we look forward to our next uh, hack to build competition.